So in this video, I will show you how to fix and stop your Facebook account from liking or following different Facebook pages and Facebook accounts that you don't know about. I've seen people having such issues. So I did a video on how to solve that if you use the mobile app. But if you use your browser or your laptop to access Facebook, this will help you to um, stop this issue. So there are two reasons why this might be happening to you. How to prevent this or how to stop this from further happening just follow the exact steps you can see on this video and leave a like on this video right now before you go ahead so the first thing to do is to for example if you use your chrome browser to browse facebook follow these steps go to more tools and then you would see extensions you click on extensions so there are some extensions might be that might be making this happen for example you can see um, this Facebook pixel helper though this does the different thing but we, we never can tell some of these extensions which you might have gotten might be because of that so there's uBlock if you have uBlock on your browser on your Chrome browser you might want to get rid of it and then some of these other extensions I would advise that you, you can just clear all the extensions you have in the first place you can remove all the extensions it's advisable you remove all the extensions at least just to get this problem fixed then later you can go ahead and reinstall the ones that are, that, are, that are okay for example so you can see the extensions are here i had extensions like tubebody i had extensions like vidiq and some other extensions i know those ones might not necessarily impact or necessarily cause this problem of my facebook account liking different pages but just get rid of uh, of these extensions or plugins whatever you might want to call them okay so it's important you do that if you have uBlock I will advise you to remove uBlock extension so if you use Firefox also it's the same thing you go to the menu bar then you go to um, settings then from settings you will see ex extensions here you click on the extensions if you have any one installed you just go ahead and remove it okay remove all the extensions most of these extensions if you have follower for follower any form of extension just get rid of them so then the second reason why this might be happening might be because someone has access to your account okay you might not know that someone has access to your account you might not get any notification but it is possible and then you see yourself getting or liking different pages that you don't know about or different um, Facebook uh, accounts following different people. So just go to the, go to accounts, go to settings and privacy. Then you click on the settings button. And once you click on the settings button, what you are going to do now will help you to solve this problem. Please leave a like on this video as you are watching this and following these steps. So you click on settings then it, you go to security and login so at this point what you are going to do is you will see where you are logged in this is showing you the places that you are currently logged in that your facebook account is logged into you might have logged into your phone someone else's phone a pc in some other public place or somewhere you might just have logged in and then you might not have remembered okay so you need to log out all sections this will clear all those this will log you out from anywhere you are logged in or your facebook is your facebook account is logged in it will log you out and then with that um, it will restrict any access to your facebook account but this is not the final thing to do okay after doing that the next step or the next thing to do is to change your password so this is very important so just scroll down and you select change password you can just click on the edit button there okay to change your password the reason i'm saying you change your password is because if someone has access to your account if someone has your password then the person will be able to still log in and then um, like different facebook pages or follow different people or do anything they want to do on your account so you put in your current facebook um, password then you set a new one and then retype the new one then once you're done with that you go ahead and click save changes so, so, so type in my password 
and then make sure it matches if it does not match don't go so once you're done with that just go ahead and click save changes so yeah so the next step is to enable to factor authentication if it's not already on you click on edit or you click on setup and then you set up two factor authentication it's really important you do that and so you can use authentication app like um auth or google authenticator or one login and then you or you can use sms i would advise you use sms if you have your sim card you just use text message that one is usually faster and it's better but you could use authentication app so that one is good so just if you if you don't already have your number saved on your Facebook account, you can use add phone number. So you can select add phone number, click on continue, then you put in your phone number, and then make sure it's a phone number only you have access to. If someone else has access to that number, it's not advisable to use it. Make sure it's a number that is accessible. Then once you put it, you save it. Then the next step is to go to go to settings then you navigate to security and privacy then go to clear browsing data then you go to advanced and select your time range as all time so what this is going to do is, is it's going to clear all the browsing history the download history the cookies the, the cached images and every every single thing is going to clear everything from your browser so any saved password but if you don't want it to clear any saved password, don't select the passwords and other signing data. Okay, don't select that. Then you clear it. Once you've cleared it, you are good to go. So this this is just settings. Just make sure you're using this exact settings. Okay. If you're using Firefox, what you should do is go to settings, then go to privacy and security. Scroll down until you see clear data. So you're going to clear the data okay you clear the data so it will clear everything so you see your cookies your stored cookies side data and cache are currently using so it will tell you zero gigabyte by the time you clear everything so this uh, this is all we are going to clear okay so you click on clear so it will clear everything that might be causing that to happen so it's important to just follow the steps as you can see on the screen you don't need to skip any important steps okay so after that you should notice that everything will be fine if you go you can unlike all the pages that you your account has liked and then you'll be fine please subscribe if you found this video useful stay safe